yeah, you know Sam, um, I'm Tamara, a good friend of Sam, Samantha. Um, today we're at Dutch Comic Con, the first one in two years. Woo! Are you going to join us on this adventure? Yeah! <laughs> upon a time. Mm -hmm.
is Manu Bennett and then we're going to show you a little bit of the cosplay catwalk yeah <laughs> for wie kom je? voor Manu oké okay. zij zit in één leugens en dan even kijken of hij al onderweg is I would like a big applause for Manu Bennett So how are you? Uh, who missed that owl last night that disappeared? You know that owl that they robbed us of last night? I want it back. <laughs> um, interesting, yeah. How are you? I'm good, how are you? No, I'm fine. Look, uh, I did some research uh, about you. Oh, here he goes. Yeah. Here he goes. And, um, um, I saw an interview and uh, it was about uh, Azark the Defiler in The Hobbit. And uh, you were replaced. Wasn't it? You told something about you first acted and then they made some visual effects of you? No, there was originally a seven foot guy got cast to play Azog because he had to be giant. Yeah, I actually auditioned for it and I thought maybe I was going to get it and then it went to the seven foot guy. And uh, But then after they filmed with him, Peter Jackson wasn't happy with the result. And so two, two years later, um, when he was going through the material, he said, I don't like it. And then he went through the audition tapes again and went back to my audition and said, I like his acting. How do we make him giant? So they decided to do it with motion capture. And so I looked like I was nine foot, you know? Originally, they thought they had to do that physically because, you know, when Richard Armitage is just fighting them, yeah, Arzog has to be, you know, he has to be a giant over the top of him. So, but the acting didn't work out for Peter Jackson, the guy that did it. Like, he, he couldn't do the, you know. But they did it the same like they did with Gandalf. Because um, he was also huge. Yeah, well, they just made that, they made that large in other ways, you know. They, they just used angles and, uh, and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, they decided to just go with motion capture to get the details. Also, the guy that was seven foot did it with prosthetics. So makeup, when you go in close to an orc, uh, when it's in prosthetics, I don't know whether you remember Lord of the Rings. 
Like in Lord of the Rings, he'd go in close to an organ and was like, Arr! Arr! and there'd be no expression change because the, the prosthetics just doesn't move suddenly enough. So imagine coming in close to Arzog's face and it was in makeup and it was just like, oh, I'll you now. You know, and it's, but you know, because it was in, because it was done with art and motion capture, you know, it was all really fluid and looked kind of, uh, yeah, it just looked better. That's why I made that decision. How was your audition as an org leader? Uh, how, what? How did you audition as, as for that role? Uh, what, what did you have to do? Well, originally, when I, when I read for it, you know, you were just asked to play a big orc, you know, and so, you know, you, you sort of walk and you go, oh, 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 you know, you see, you do whatever, you know, like, trying to be big and menacing and uh, powerful. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I guess the way that I did it on that tape is what they, what they appreciated. But in the end, who was here yesterday? Because I don't want to just answer the same questions as, as yesterday, because yesterday I, I answered this question as well. I based my performance on Jaws, you know, the white shark, and Darth Vader. And Darth Vader. How? What part of Jaws and Darth Vader did you use? Well, I just used the movement of Arzog to be predatorial, like a great white shark. You know, like to move like... Doo -doo. Doo -doo. <laughs> this is scary enough. You know, it was just a... I kept on thinking that in my head as I was playing him physically. Yeah. And, um, and then, of course, the voice, you know, I was trying to think of, you know, a great voice, and I thought Darth Vader, yeah. you know, so, you know, I am your father, Luke, you know, that kind of deep voice, you know. And how is your orcish nowadays? Terrible. It was never good in the first place. But, you know. Do you know the translation of, this is a line from the movie, you said, Giac don't aga excuses, Giac aga ul kokro ul voki. I didn't say that. You said that. At least not that badly. It means I don't want excuses, I want the head of the Dwarf King. <laughs> or was it another artist? That's why you didn't get the role. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could have, you know, they wouldn't have had to do makeup for you, because he's already, you know. But as, a, as an actor, I mean, normally, uh, most of the roles you play, you speak English, and in, and in this role, you had to speak a... a no, no, I said, Alan on in the Shannara Chronicles, I had to speak, like, ancient druid, uh, you know, as, as Crixus, I had to speak like a kind of a ancient English sort of yeah. style. It was different. It wasn't like it was like Shakespearean kind of the way you make a phrase. So actually, three of my main and as Deathstroke, I had to talk like this. <laughs> so so you know there was uh, yeah you know yeah I was always mixing my voice in some way you know yeah yeah. yeah. How is, English, it, yeah, English. how is it to play a villain? Because uh, when I talk to actors, most actors really like to play the bad guy. And you play the bad guy most of the time. I'm going to be the bad guy now, because I keep on looking at your drink and I think like, what if I do that? <laughs> yeah, oh. oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so it says bad guy move, bad guy move. Bad guy. Is, it, is it fun? Premeditation is like just... Critical. It's like I'm gonna fuck him up again. <laughs> uh, I wasn't out uh, with you now. Uh, yeah. Look, I mean, when you play somebody who's got to give the the good guy a run for his money, the closer you play it to being a role that, in its own way, has strengthened and kind of uh, a premise that the audience really buys into. And then you really have a good conflict. You know, if you're just gonna play a bad guy and go like, I'm oh, a bad guy, you know, it's, it's gonna get boring, you know? So I always build like a really strong subtext into the character that makes the character fight for something, fight that they really, what they really believe in, what they really believe to be true, you know? I mean, I don't think there's any villain on this planet that hasn't got in their own mind something that seems correct and right about why they're doing what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, I'm Jessica. Get out. Um, <laughs> Get out immediately. <laughs> I want to ask you if you want to play a replay a uh, scene from Arrow. Will you? Kid? If you want. Come on. Okay. So we're going to scene herbeleven with Manu. Very nice. So, 
What thing can we do? Wait up. Um, okay, this was my audition. Okay, who remembers the very first scene where where uh, Oliver wandered into the airplane and Slade dropped from the ceiling and grabbed him around the neck, right? So you have to you have to sort of come in. Say this is the airplane, right? Now come back here, come back here. You're gonna be kind of like, you know, you're gonna act, you're gonna act like, where is he? Okay, so turn around, and you're going like that, right? And you can't see me. There's a green screen in front of you, right? So you can't see me. Right, so you're, you're walking in, up to the end, go to the end. Walk that way. This is really hard directing this actress. Not by the forward, is it? Not by the luck, it's on the forward. Suddenly, Slade drops from the top and goes, You got 10 seconds to tell me something I believe, kid, or I'm gonna go down to your throat box. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Manu Benedict, yeah, pleasure, pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you.
our little adventure, give a big thumbs up, consider subscribing. Here you can see the next date of the next Comic Con. And there's something special for you. That's the day before my birthday, so. Oh, we're gonna celebrate your birthday. Of course. We will see you next time. Bye bye.